The big question now on every mind is, how will the tribunal of five judges led by Justice Samani rule in this case? Will they declare Pete to be an outright winner of the election? Will they call for a rerun election? And if they do call for a rerun election, will Tinubu be excluded in the rerun? as the petitioners being p to b Atiku Abubaka, and of course APM party are demanding. Now, to help us answer this question is no other than Ulisa Abakoba, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, SAN, an outstanding legal luminary of 45 years standing, and of course a former president of the Nigeria Bar Association, NBA. At the start of the petition, he granted a very instructive interview to Channel's television. We are going to play a portion of that interview, courtesy of Channel Television, so that you will see his expectation from the judiciary concerning the outcome of this petition. On what will happen after the five judges led by Justice Samani deliver their judgment, we will come to that later. First, let's listen for just two minutes to Olisa Abakoba. Mm, I've lost a bit of confidence in, in what the courts have been doing lately. I mean, there was a time you could say, oh, on the facts and the law, this is the likely outcome. Today you cannot, because there have been all kinds of silly decisions. The most silly was that concerning the President of the Senate, who, in order to become Nigerian President, rushed off to buy a ticket to be a presidential candidate of the APC. And that meant he did not take part in the senatorials. Lo and behold, he lost. He now ran back after the horse had bolted clearly to anybody who has any brain, including the justice of the Supreme Court, I might add. And they said, no, that the man actually should be the senatorial candidate. That is the most, most ridiculous decision I've ever heard that the Supreme Court had delivered. So that's why it's difficult. Of course, I don't want to talk about the case of Imo State, where everything was turned upside down. So I don't have the sort of confidence that I used to have in the judiciary. And I'd not be surprised if this thing goes one way or the other. I cannot, I cannot forecast the outcome. I have the legal tools and the factual issues. So if I put it into my computer, I know what answer it will give me. But I'm not part of the panel. So I don't know whether the justices will see it the way I'm seeing it. But I can tell you from my own perspective as a lawyer of 45 years at the bar that the answers are glaringly obvious. But as Oliver Wendell Holmes said in the Rarely School of Jurisprudence, it is the prophecy of what the court does, in fact, and nothing more pretentious that is the law. So if you ask me what would be the outcome of the petition, first of all, I cannot say because it's some judice. But second of all, I cannot even say because the Supreme Court itself is unpredictable. After listening to Olisa Bakaba, senior advocate of Nigeria, you will actually see that we have a problem at our hand because he said that I've lost a bit of confidence in what the court does these days. That speaks a lot of volume. He was particular about the case of former Senate President Ahmad Lawan, who went out of the party, contested in the APC presidential primaries to become a presidential candidate. And when he didn't win that, he went back to his senatorial zone and then insisted that he's uh, running for the Senate. And this Supreme Court, at a certain point, granted him that permission. And Olusa Bakobi is saying that anybody who has any brain, including the justices of the Supreme Court, should have known the facts it is very obvious, very clear for everybody to see. His most ridiculous decision he has ever had or seen the Supreme Court of Nigeria deliver. So is this 
Supreme Court, the judges and the justices still the hope of the common man. B2B has a very watertight case with so many evidences, piles and piles of evidences. Atiku Abubakar also on his own part, even the APM, including double nomination, criminal record, and all kind of lies about identity, about schools, about the background of Bola Amaitinubu. When you put all this together, in a computer system, according to Ulisaba Koba, the answer will come out as to the true fact. And do not forget that it's very clear in Nigerian constitution that any person that will be declared president must win 25% of the votes cast in the federal capital territory, Abuja. In the case of Tinubu, it was not the case. He didn't accomplish that. And the INEC went ahead to declare him the winner. From the evidences tendered by P2B and uh, Tiku Abubakar, it was very clear that so many blood results were used to declare a presidential candidate the winner of the election. Even when INEC staff themselves saw the, um, the, the, the documents and they confirmed that it is not readable. And these documents were issued to Labour Party by INEC. So, what do you think that these judges are going to do? And what do you think eventually the justices as the Supreme Court that have allowed Lawan to contest for the Senate will do to this case in a situation where even these five judges of the Court of Appeal says that the election was flawed and that Bola Metinubu is not the president or shouldn't have been declared the president. What is going to happen in the Supreme Court? Nobody has an answer. Nobody can tell you for sure. Though we know from the facts that this is the way the whole thing is, but nobody can predict that. That is the dilemma that we are facing at the moment. It is not a question of um, the lawyers. It's not a problem of uh, presenting facts, witnesses, evidences. But they, when they want to bend the matter, they use technicalities. They try to trivialize very huge issues. And they, they can come up with any, any kind of argument or decision or points to support their position. So, as of today, Nigerians have to get ready. Obedience have to get ready because nobody can say for sure this is the way this decision is going to go. But we must continue pressing on. People must continue with what is going on at the moment, that all eyes on the judiciary, they must be reminded. People must keep happening on that. So that these judges, no matter the kind of pressure they come under, must think, must remember, must look at what the public is saying. Nigerians just hope for, if INEC cannot deliver a clean, credible election, that at least the law course, that is the last hope of the common man, should be able to tell Nigerians the truth and really say, based on the facts, who won this election. Anything less than that is going to really be a problem, a very huge problem. Many people, look at what the African countries are saying now, especially since the case of Niger Republic came up. In Niger, they are demonstrating, saying that Bola Tinubu is illegitimate. Broadcasters from South Africa saying that he's fighting for legitimacy. In Zimbabwe, the journalists also say it's like it's no more a Nigerian affair. It's like African, global. Many people have condemned this election. The European Union, in their observation report, totally condemned this election. That it was not credible. It was not free. 
it was not fair. All these facts are lying right in front of the judges of the Court of Appeal and eventually the justices of the Supreme Court. But will they do the needful? Will they do the right thing? Could anything be different this time? Maybe because of the much attention on this case as all eyes on the, uh, on the judiciary. We don't have an answer to this, and I don't think in all honesty that anybody has. But the fight continues. Nobody is going to give up. If they take the wrong step, they would then hear from Nigerians what the consequences will eventually be, I cannot say. And I'm sure nobody can say that for sure. We want to keep this video short and we have listened to Ulisa Bakoba, somebody who is part and parcel of the judicial system in Nigeria for so many years. And I hope that the justices and the judges of the Court of Appeal we do the right thing in this election petition. Please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to our channel.